Hey, what's going on? And today is the start of our new journey. Today we're going to start our brand new company and we're going to start from zero dollars, hopefully profit to six figures. And today we're going to start just by establishing our company. Uh, follow along on this journey and I hope you enjoy the series. Let's get to it. Hey, what's going on? It's Railway to Success and thank you for checking out another one of my video. And as I said in the hook, we're starting a brand new series. And so we're going to start from a, a, a zero profit company, hopefully to a six figure company. And so we're starting a real estate photography uh, business. As you know, uh, I spoke on real estate before and I've taken a really strong liking to photography. So uh, we're going to just start by building a business. So we're going to start by, you know, uh, filing for our articles of incorporation or organization, depending on your state or, or uh, region. Um, we're also going to get an EIN number, which is a number that you use, that IRS use to identify your company. So you'll need that to open up bank accounts to file tax returns at the end of the year or how many times you decide to, to file uh, for your year or for your company. Uh, we're going to start, we're going to um, open up a social media uh, pages for, the, for this company. We're also going to build a website. Uh, we're going to promote. And hopefully book our first clients and, sh and shoot our first show and shoot our first shot. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to start by filing our articles on corporation. Uh, let's start from the, from the beginning and go from there. And so hopefully this is a uh, hopefully you follow along and this is a profitable and very enjoyable experience. Um, so this is something new. Um, like this is a way to hold me accountable. And so yeah, so this is just a Let's get to it. And so we're going to start, we're going to file for a Maryland limit liability company um, because that's where I do most of my business. I'll be performing in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. That's where I live, that's where I'm from. And so we'll be filing for Maryland. Uh, we may also file for DC, but I don't know if I want to show the DC one it's just because I don't want to be re too redundant. And so let's file, let's get going. I will use online forms. And cool. Now the first thing we're gonna do is type in our business name. Um, so me, I'm going to go with one shot, and please don't judge me, I, I don't type really good. One type photography. Alright, and we're going to go with the suffix of just plain LLC. And search names. So business name, this is another thing that we're gonna do. Um, like when you're starting a business, um, you don't wanna use your personal address. So what I use is I owe, as I uh, pay for a virtual office. Um, so you could pay for Regis and there's other companies that offer virtual offices. And so basically what I'll do is I'll type in the virtual office address. So you, get, you can have your mail sent there or you can just have your documentation saying that hey, you're, you're renting space in this office building. You can actually have your mail sent directly to your home though, just in case if you didn't want to go uh, pick up your mail or go somewhere, or you know, just to be convenient. You can have it both ways. So I'll type in my business address. Uh, I might blur this out because I don't want people to know where it's, exactly where my business is located. We spelled that one wrong. I spelled, well, I spelled it backwards, I should say. And paste. Oh. Sweet 400. And Bowie Merlin. 
Maryland, I should say. Yeah, you might hear my DMV accent. Oops. Uh, okay. And I'm just gonna get make up a phone number for her, for this. No, we will not need a business license in Maryland to operate. So we'll just continue. Uh, okay, Prince George's in Prince George's County. It will be. So I'm gonna just. Uh, so uh, basically, when you're doing a resident agent, if you never, if you never started a business. A resident agent is someone who's, going, who's responsible for receiving documentation for the company. Um, you can have a corporate resident agent or you can have an individual. Um, the individual can be yourself if you live in that jurisdiction. But me, I'm not a resident of Maryland, so I'll be using an examining member. Um, but I'll blur, of course, I'll blur all this information out because I don't want you to know my family <laughs> um, information. Just say that, let's just go with zero, 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 zero. Okay. And, uh, uh, uh. And, and, I'll block out the address as well. information no there's no alternate contact information so we'll just get this and so there it is we have everything that we need to do it's a fairly simple process uh, you can do this within five minutes as you've seen I've done I probably did this within two to three minutes and we proceed to certification from there, uh, you know, you'll be asked who's the authorized, who's the person that can make um, decisions for the company. And so that person would be me. And since I am a single member LLC, uh, it will be me only. Founding party, Mr. Force. The filing party. I'll be putting my name here. My information. Okay. And my information as well, my home address and things like that. Certify and proceed. Everything is ready. And all you have to do now is is pay for your uh, submission, and then you're good to go. Um, you can pay for in Maryland. You can pay an extra fee fee uh, for expedited uh, purposes. Uh, but I won't be paying. So now, this was the video was just to show you the process of uh, filing for your articles of organization. I've already done so for this company, so I won't be doing it again. Um, but this is the process of doing that as well. 
and so to to get your uh, to get your IRS EIN, which is your employee employer identification number, uh, you can go to I just I just normally Google uh, EIN IRS EIN apply for employee identification, and you can do so from the website. Um, just go to the link will normally just take you to the IRS website and you can just read the instructions and you can just hit apply now and so since it is the weekend where I'm applying um, it's not available right now but this is a fairly simple process as well it only takes about two to three minutes for this one as well and so now that we have so actually I can show you I can actually show you my uh, current EIN. I'm gonna blur out the number, of course, but I'll show you what what it would looks like. And so you'll get a IRS uh, letter saying, "Hey, thank you for applying for your employer identification number. We assigned you the EIN of so and so. Um, that this EIN will identify you, your business accounts, your tax returns, and documents." Even if you have no employees, please keep this in your permanent records. And so this would the the official letter should say from the IRS. So you too, that was my first video on my new series. I have yet to come up with a title of the series. Um, I will come up with that and, and, and we'll place the title in uh, whenever I come up with it. But uh, you seen me uh, file for my articles organization or corporation depending on what depending on which one it is on your state or legislation and um, or region I should say and you see me also go to the IRS so you got to go to the IRS and apply for EIN if you've never done so before so I hope you enjoyed the video be on the lookout for the next video peace